Black Lives Matter in hot water after tax documents show how the nonprofit is spending his donation. They made a lot of money, too, took in a lot of money. Foundation paid more than $2 million to a consulting firm run by a member of their board of directors. $1.4 million was spent on lobbying. Another $1.8 million spent on people with close ties to co-founder Patrice Cullors, including her son's father and her brother. For comparison, $200,000 was given to the Trayvon Martin Foundation. Larry Elder, host of The Larry Elder Show. Larry, good morning to you from Los Angeles. Uh, they, they bought a house, so she did anyway, or the group did in Los Angeles. Uh, <laughs> w what do you make of the findings thus far that the state of California is pursuing? I think one of those family members, by the way, was uh, the mother of the co-founder, Patrice Cullors. Uh, and Ms. Cullors herself has bought, I think, at last count was about four or so uh, high-end properties, including an area out here in California called Topanga Canyon. And we also know that the uh, Black Lives Matter uh, people bought a mansion in Canada, also property in the Bahamas. But, Bill, that's not even, the, to me, the worst of it. The worst of it is the very premise behind the organization, and that is that the police are engaging in systemic racism against black people. It is a lie. There's a Harvard economist, black Harvard economist from the inner city like I am, who did a study, and he found out, if anything, the police were more hesitant, more reluctant to pull the trigger on a black suspect than a white suspect. There's a data scientist, uh, formerly with Thomson Reuters, emphasized formerly. He went to uh, Michigan, has an undergraduate degree in economics, uh, went to Harvard Law School. He did a research paper, and he found out that because of the police becoming more passive for fear of being accused of systemic racism, there are hundreds of so-called excess death in towns like Baltimore, Chicago, uh, uh, New York, where they have these high-end uh, shootings, uh, and subsequently the police are pulling back, uh, no longer engaging in proactive policing. It's called the Ferguson effect or the George Floyd effect. It's getting people killed. Hundreds of excess deaths, mostly of black people, are dead as a result of this false narrative, the very premise behind the organization called Black Lives Matter. It is absolutely outrageous. Larry, this is a little more than a month ago, back in early April. This is Patricia Cullors and her explanation, at least in part, for some of the tax documents. I actually did not know what 990s were before all of this happened. Something's being weaponized against us that many people don't even know and honestly don't care about. It, it is such a trip now to hear the word, the, 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 the term 990s. I'm like, ugh, it's like triggering. Um, li listen, I, I know you take exception to those comments. I've heard you talk <laughs> about them before. Um, I, it I, might look I, really no, bad. I, I do. Larry, you just, know. I know you're not a tax lawyer, but it might mm. look really bad. But is <laughs> what BLM doing, was it illegal? Can we say that? I believe, I believe at the very least, Bill, it cries out for a civil, if not a criminal, investigation of the, by the IRS. It appears to me, based on people I've talked to, that they've blown through filing deadlines. The AG out here in California actually suspended their ability to raise money because of the failure to file the, the papers on time. And again, the premise behind this thing. Take a look at a city like, uh, like Baltimore, where Freddie Gray died in police custody. You're talking about a city where the mayor was black, the, uh, the state attorney who brought the charges against six officers were black, three of the six officers were black, the judge before whom two of the officers tried their case was black, all of city council Democrats, majority black, the number one, number two people overseeing the police department black. At the time, the AG, Loretta Lynch, was black, as was the president of the United States black. And we're talking about systemic racism when blacks are running the system? Again, it's just insane. Insulting, and it's getting people killed, the very black people that Black Lives Matter claims that they care about. Well, some of these questions really could, could go to American companies that donated to New York Post op-ed. Here's the headline. Corporations, corporations don't care if BLM is wasting their money. Right. Uh, they were just buying PR. That's the headline. Larry, we will see where it goes, and we'll pick it up then. Thank you for your time today from Southern California. You got it. My pleasure. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.